our process is I choose you in every now moment. I choose to love you in every now moment. And that's a choice that we provide that freedom to express and experience in every now moment. And so if we place an ultimatum that would release the active choice and it would shift us away from a process of continual choosing of love into a result of this is what our love should look like based on societal preferences. Yes. And I love that you brought up choice because to me, ultimatums take away choice within the connection or the relationship. I mean, I've heard about so many different types of ultimatums and I've experienced them myself. Like if you choose to be friends with them, then we're over. You need to choose between me or them, right? That's one or put a ring on it or we're done. I've heard that from people that I'm friends with, right? If we're going to continue in this relationship, you ask me to marry you or we're done. Okay. You can have a boundary around that and have clear discussions about a boundary, but there's a difference between a boundary and an ultimatum, right? Or if someone was struggling to get a job in a relationship, then get a job or I'm leaving you. To me and what I learned in courses and even what I've experienced myself, when you put a bound, when you put a parameter around love like that, instead of a boundary around your needs, then what you're doing is you're disconnecting from the relationship and you're turning the focus into my love only exists for you if you do what I tell you to. And it shifts into a control instead of saying, look, here are my boundaries. Here's in a healthy relationship. Here's what I need to feel safe, to feel secure. And for us to, as we were talking about in an earlier podcast, to feel connected and to discuss through what this process of our connection is going to look like. But when you take away that choice so the other person can share with you what they need, what they're experiencing, what their boundaries are, because it's not all about you in a relationship, right? You're both in it. Then that ultimatum takes away that connected choice. And suddenly it shifts to a power dynamic. And to me, that rarely works unless somebody is looking to be taken into a direction by a powerful force. Like they really want someone to tell them what to do, then it might work. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, can an ultimatum work? Yes. In certain circumstances and the majority of circumstances, I would offer It takes away the choice for a relationship to grow and to be nurtured and to head in a direction where most people desire it to go. I agree. Yeah. Um, As you shifting dynamics is a really great point and true, at least from my perspective, I feel that a true deep loving commitment is a collaboration, not a one way street. And so uh, ultimatum is a, an expression of a one-way street versus a collaboration. And so if someone were instead to say, hey, partner, like this is where I'd like my life to go. You know, what are your thoughts? Where are you in that? You know, how can we uh, merge our visions of our future together in in a way that makes sense for both of us so we can both achieve the goals that we would like? Yes. To me, that's, Still, now I understand that the, it's the desire for a result, but it is more process oriented and it isn't a collaboration. It's a conversation. It's a connection. It's honoring both parties versus putting it solely on one side and saying, no, it has to be this way. And in this vision and oftentimes like we found, uh, I mean, how many times have, have things in life gone greater than we ever could have imagined? We had this one vision and, and then it's like, oh my gosh, that was even better. You know, and so if we're so focused on one thing in one way, 
either we miss it completely, we could miss out on this grand, amazing thing um, that you know, could be greater than we could anticipate because we're so focused on just this one little thing or this one way. Uh, and then ultimately, because we're focused on that one way, and we might hit it, but we might be very disappointed because, you know, anything around there creates an un, you know, expectation that anyone else can't really understand because they don't know exactly what's going on in your mind and what that vision actually looks like, especially because most individuals aren't aren't prompted to express it in full detail, yes. right? And, and then secondarily, uh, it's usually a very limited approach. And so they end up either, you know, maybe not even experiencing that at all. Uh, so now you're missing out on both what could have been and what you want. 